Now the wall meets the edge of the tub or a shower stall, and it's very important that it be sealed. If not, water can leak behind it, cause a lot of water damage to the framing around the tub, or even worse, it can cause mold and mildew to grow a lot behind the walls. That's not good, but in a case like this, we're up on a second level of a house, and it can leak down and cause stains and damage to the ceiling down below. None of those scenarios are good. So, in order to keep it properly caulked, the first thing you need to do is remove the existing caulk and get it as dry as you can. A little hair dryer helps out a lot on drying that out. Then you need to choose the right caulk, which should be 100% silicone to really seal it and it'll make it last a lot longer. But you know a lot of problems that homeowners have when you're applying caulk, whether it's here on a tub or any other part of your house, is ending up with a nice, smooth, finished product, but here's a couple tips that'll help you out on that. First of all, if you're using a latex caulk, it's very easy just to smooth it out just using water, but here, using silicone, water won't help you at all, so what you can use is just mineral spirits. After you apply a small bead of caulk, put your finger down in the mineral spirits and wipe it nice and smooth, but then you have to have the smell of mineral spirits and having that on your finger. Here's something that we found recently it's called caulk easy. What it allows you to do is after you apply your thin bead of caulk, you just spray this over all of the caulk and it allows you to get that nice smooth finish without any of it staying on your finger. Even if a little gets on your finger, you can wipe it off very easily. So this is something that's a very easy little project to do and makes a big difference in protecting your home.